the kinds of responses I get when I tell people that I went to an all-girls school. Most of the time they are, really, I didn't know they existed, or wow, that, wow, that must have been, been very, very bitchy, bitchy. or Wow, wow. Did, the, did, did the school, did the school not, school believe, not in, believe in, in men? In men? <laughs> I felt this video would be fun to make to give you guys an insight into what it's actually like and my school in particular. So firstly, the reason why I went to an all girls school and the reason why I automatically chose the the school I went to straight off the bat was because my mum attended the same school when she was my age. My mum used to travel from London to the south of England, which is where I live and we all live now, every day to go to this school. I never really asked her what the reason was for her going in the first place. I guess it was just a good school, I don't know, maybe my nan had certain beliefs because it was a Church of England school. It was fairly religious, I mean we did a lot of hymns, we said a lot of prayers, almost every day we would attend a, an assembly. I know for a fact 70% maybe 60 percent of those girls weren't religious it was weird like it was i felt like it was one of the best schools to go to in the area that i live in all the other schools that were mixed kind of seemed a little bit run down or downhill people called it the lesbian school for obvious reasons but um it was kind of like the higher class school i uh, it doesn't matter if i say that and offend anyone because unless you live in my area you won't know what I'm talking about but that's the way I felt when my mum moved down from London to here and attended the school she had a London accent she used to live in London the school back then was very posh she said that throughout the years it's gone a little bit downhill not downhill but not as strict which is what schools have naturally done anyway but when she attended it was very noticeable that she came from London because she had this very thick London accent and she had to learn to talk posh and she was bullied quite a bit for it, which is really sad for me to think about now. Um, but schools were awful back then, way worse than they are now. I remember when she visited the school from like for like an open evening or something, she had told me that one of the toilets were exactly the same layout and everything. She was like, wow, this toilet has not changed. I was like, wow. So me and my friends actually got this like little um, crystal on the end of a string and started trying to talk to like the ghosts of the toilet because we were convinced that because it was there when my mum was there, it was going to be really old. And we spent an entire lesson in that toilet trying to talk to ghosts and long story short we uh, actually got um, in serious trouble for that because we skipped PE so we were on report card which are these things which you have to have signed before every single lesson for an entire year I think it was something ridiculous and we didn't just get like a green one or an amber one which means you've just got in a little bit of trouble we got in a red one so when I handed that into a teacher every lesson she looked at me as if to say why the hell are you on red report card because I was such a shy kid and I barely made any problems or caused any trouble. But I don't know why my teacher, who was lovely, decided to put me on red report card for missing one lesson. Come on, there are people out there missing days. Anyway, I'm getting off, off track now. My two sisters also attended the same school and they really liked it. I was actually at the school the same time Vicky was for one year because she was on the last year and I was in the first year. And that was really cool because it was just really nice to see her sister at the school. And I remember on the first day, I'd fallen out of all of my friends. So I had no one to uh, go and like mingle with. So Vicky, my sister, walked me there and was like, you'll make friends, you'll have fun. And I just remember like just leaving her and being like, oh my God, I'm just surrounded by people who I don't know um, and some bitches that fell out with me because they are shit. And I'll never forgive them for that. <laughs> anyway, getting off topic again. To go into an all girls school, to me, felt like the only way. It felt so normal because of my two sisters going, of course. I thought there wasn't really an option. And in my head, I felt that mixed schools were weirder. And I didn't actually realise that there was such thing as mixed schools until a good two years into my all girls school, which is dumb. I just, it was just so normal to me because of my mum, because of my sisters. It just felt odd that you could go to school with guys. I was like, what? I can't imagine sitting in a classroom and having a guy next to me. I don't know if this is me stereotyping, but whenever I saw someone from a school that had girls and guys, they seemed to wear skirts that were really high or like had really quite, they're not, they're not the nicest uniform, but they always seemed a lot nicer than ours. Our uniform, even though looking back at it, it is awful and you're going to see this photo and say, oh my god. <gasps> 
Once again, it felt normal. I grew up seeing my two sisters in that uniform. I live quite near to the square, went to, so I see people walking past in that uniform all the time. And in my head, wearing that uniform kind of was like an achievement in a weird way because I felt mature and old enough to go to a high school now. And I was wearing this uniform that meant like I'm old enough to attend high school. And even though it looked ugly, um, there were certain things that girls used to do to kind of make yourself look cooler like they would kind of unzip the skirt and like fold it up a bit and then like pull it up so the skirt wasn't as long i feel as though the fact we were all girls was something that they they spoke about quite a lot and like they would make sure that us as girls felt like we could do anything we could achieve anything stigma attached to genders never really affected me until i left school i didn't realize that there was stigma attached to, I don't know, a girl being into PE or a girl being into maths. Like, I didn't realise that people's interests were strange because of their gender. And that's a great thing about going to an all-girls school. You just, you just see everyone as what they are and what they're into, not what their gender is. Something I really miss about going to an all-girls school as well, the fact that we would always be referred to as young ladies all the time and if we were being too noisy, being naughty or the teacher was trying to get our attention, we would always be referred to as ladies, ladies. Which reminds me, if there was a teacher which was starting in our school and the girls had found out it was a guy teacher, people would go nuts. So many girls had crushes on guy teachers just because they were guys, and it was rare to see a guy in our building. And if there was like a man walking down the corridor, or like a guy was in the school for one reason or another, fixing something, visiting, I don't know, everyone would know about it. You'd be in class and you'd hear, oh my gosh, there's a guy walking down the hall, he looks so nice. Did you hear that there's a male teacher starting and everyone would go nuts? There was this one teacher that everybody liked and yeah, he was like good looking and apparently he was good with kids because he had children and everyone got really excited about if you were being taught by him. But when I look at him now, I'm more thinking it's probably because he was a guy and we weren't used to it. We wouldn't have gone as crazy as we did if there were other guys to choose from, <laughs> to choose from. Ew, I made that sound like they're a selection of meat or something. <laughs> I remember there was a substitute teacher that used to teach every now and again when our proper teacher was ill or something. And my best friend who was in the year above used to like flirt with him like crazy. Not to sound rude, but there was nothing really attractive about him. I knew for a fact he wasn't my best friend's type at all, but he was young and he was just like, yeah, young and just easy to talk to because he wasn't an official teacher. Thinking back now, I'm like, God, we put him in such an awkward position because she would like flirt with him in a jokey way and we didn't really see how that could have actually put a lot of like awkwardness on his part because he was trying to get a job in the school probably and like <laughs> we were so busy just kind of trying to contain our hormones that sounds terrible i think she even drew him a picture at one point and was like keep this under your pillow and like joked about it once again none of this was serious and i remember him just going bright red and me thinking why is he getting embarrassed over that and i'm like well duh we were underage girls saying really weird awkward sexual at times things of course he's gonna feel awkward so if you're watching which i know you're not because you you would not recognize me i didn't look anything like this back then i'm sorry okay i'm sorry a lot of people say so how did you ever communicate with guys like did you ever see a guy do you know what guys look like and i can't speak for all the girls that went to my school obviously but for the group that i hung out with we were close to a lot of the guys in the all boys school which was just down the road around the corner a little bit my house is like slap bang sorta in the middle of the girls school and the boys school so we always used to meet up with the boys school after school and honestly that is such a blessing because we used to pop into my house and like put our makeup on and do our hair a little bit better because at school in an all-girls school you didn't need to worry about that you could turn up with your hair greasy or like put up in a bun, makeup run down your face, because it doesn't matter. But anyway, we used to come to my house um, after school, which was really exciting, because we'd like get all ready and, and quickly like put on our makeup so they wouldn't know that we're getting ready. They'd just think we've just been looking like that all day long, right? <laughs> and then we would walk 
to the uh, school and just meet up and chat and like hang out in the street and stuff as you do standard stuff or we'd meet up in the park down the road from where I live as well um, which was really fun we just sit on the green and chill and like chat about things I felt that was really fun because it made us more excited about finishing school it gave us something to do afterwards otherwise you just do all the chatting and talking at school and I feel like it was really exciting to kind of look forward to seeing people we haven't seen all day. And we had this really cool friendship. And I made really good friends with those people. And I still miss them to this day. But they're doing cool things nowadays and getting on with their lives and that, which is great. Um, but it was just really fun. And that's where I met my first boyfriend, who I ended up being with for like a year and a bit. It was a great thing because we could literally just get up 10 minutes before school, rush and just dart to school and not worry about how you look. But at the same time, it did make me very socially awkward around guys. It took me ages just to kind of make a conversation with guys because for some reason they just seemed like a complete different species to me. And that is the only bad thing about it, I suppose. But after a while you, you sort of learn that they're just like everyone else really. Although I think it made it a bit more special. Like guys felt more like rare and special and uh, is, that a, is that a negative or a positive? I don't know. Another thing about going to an all-girls school is you could openly talk about anything at any time. And that is something which I didn't realise some schools couldn't be. We could just shout to the class, has anyone got a tampon? Has anyone got a pad? Someone would say, yeah, I d I've never spoken to you before, but here, have my tampon. We could talk about periods, boobs, poo. Like, it doesn't matter. You go to school to hang out and learn at the same time. I never used to get it when someone used to say to me, do you go to an all-girls school so you don't get distraction from guys? Or parents would say that, like, I took my child to an all-girls school because I didn't want her to be distracted. And I would be like, guys aren't a distraction. Okay, I was unaware because as soon as I went to college, I realized how much of a distraction they were. I fancied like every guy in college <laughs> That was an exaggeration. I understood completely what that meant as soon as I started trying to learn with guys in the room or just with guys. It would just, I would obsess over them more than I knew other people were. And I think that was down to the fact that I went to an all girls school and I wasn't used to them being around as much. Another big bonus about attending an all girls school, I don't know whether this is the case for other schools. I haven't really heard about this before, but they had an amazing child development course. Um, and I think mainly that was because of the fact we were an all-girls school. I know guys can take child development courses, but really, I don't think they would have had that course if we were a mixed school. That's awful to say, but I truly think it was mainly because we were an all-girls school and that was a course, a uh, subject we were allowed to take, which wasn't just like a lame subject that was brushed off as like a qualification. It was a very good one. We had the opportunity to take these fake plastic babies home that cried and they were like monitored like uh, the teachers could see how well you'd done at the end of the weekend and stuff like you'd have them home for a weekend and the subject was really good like you'd learn about childbirth about having a baby about pregnancy about conception about sex about all this stuff and that was always interesting to me like sex ed was never awkward in high school obviously because yeah, all girls, there wasn't that awkward divide. There used to be in the square wars before, like all the guys had to like go off into a separate room when you learnt about vaginas, but for the girls school it wasn't. And then when we got old enough that we knew about sex and stuff, you had the option to do child development. And I knew that I loved sex ed so much. I love talking about sex. I love talking about the human body. And I was like, I need to do child development because I love this kind of stuff. And I actually got an A star. A star star I think for that and I think that was probably down to the fact we were an all-girls school and there was more chance that people would want to take that route and do that because we were all women as stereotypical as that sounds I'm sorry like guys can too of course so nobody really had that pressure to look good and turn up to school looking amazing but if they did you'd know that they're probably seeing their boyfriend after school speaking of everybody knew who had a boyfriend girls love to gossip so half of it was true half of it wasn't but you would know everyone's business because it gets passed around like a disease. If you found out a girl is with a guy, then you'd know about it even if you don't even know the girl. If a girl's like been dating this guy for three years, like that's big news in an all girl school because it's like, wow, that girl has some serious experience. You would know who has had sex. You would know what this person's done. You would hear so many rumors that aren't true half the time, but so exciting regardless, you'd want to hear about it, whether it's true or not. Half of the stuff I remember hearing involving girls putting weird things up their vagina, sex poo stories or sex blood stories or sex period stories. I just loved hearing them. 
which actually backfired a little bit because me saying it's interesting to hear other people's gossip, not all the time when it involves you. The one and only rumor I have ever had spread about me happened in the middle of high school. Like I was telling you guys, I was dating my first boyfriend that I used to meet up with the all boys school. And for some reason, I don't know how it happened, but I know the girl who spreaded it fuck you. He had supposedly done some weird kinky like roleplay stuff with me and used to like consensually sexually abuse me and all this really graphic stuff that I'm not gonna go into. I don't know how it started but people used to ask me all the time and people used to think it when they saw me. They'd know me as this like proper sex demon um which I was totally fine with if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know, but I think one story that I must have shared with a few friends got out of hand and like I said, in an all-girls school, it spreads like a fire. Being at an all-girls school teaches you that there is nothing wrong with publicly pulling out a wedgie, sorting out your boobs and your bra, pulling up your tights, asking your friends if your period blood has leaked through, using your boobs as phone holders. I remember like the guys kind of looking at us strange when we'd meet up at the park and do the same sort of stuff we would do at school. They would be like, wow, that really is a lesbian school because you do stuff like that in. No, we're just as gross and as weird as guys are. And yes, I'm talking about girls farting and burping a lot um, whenever they want, whenever they have the opportunity to. But all in all, the main two things people think about when they hear an all girls school is bitchiness and lesbianism. <laughs> the bitchiness was bad, yes, like there was catty behaviour every now and again. There was that feeling where you can't like enter a room with a load of girls because you sometimes think that they're all talking about you. You'd get paranoid that your secret would be spread so you'd have to be cautious about who your best friends were or you'd be a little bit worried about turning your back for a few minutes. It's, it can get bad sometimes. If you've missed a day at school, you come back and you're like, oh, maybe everyone was talking about me. But I've also heard a lot of people say, because there isn't any guys around, there's less drama. But I don't think that's the case. Girls will find drama over anything. But I wouldn't say it was too much of a big deal. But I think if there were guys looking in on an all girls school, they might say a completely different thing to me. I probably just was a bit oblivious to it, to be honest. And as for the lesbian thing, there were like a group of lesbians in the school and they used to hang out in the same area and they'd be like gothic and like they'd look really emo and just make out with each other in the hallway. But I don't know whether that was just the the years that I went or whether that was like an actual you know common thing for the school but there was from what we knew of back then three or four openly gay girls out of the entire school. Obviously a lot of us hadn't come out or didn't know our sexuality yet. So yeah, that was my little recap of attending an all girls school. There is so much more I could say really, but it was such a lovely school. And honestly, thinking about all this stuff now is making me kind of sad and nostalgic. I do miss it a lot. I miss just going to a building full of girls that were just your mates. Like it was chilling out with your best friends five days a week. It was so fun. Yes, there were downs, but there's also downs in every other school. I in no way regret the choice I made about going there. Uh, I do think that if I didn't, I would have been distracted by guys. Thumbs up this video if you liked listening to this. Subscribe to my channel to be notified every time I make a brand new video. But in the meantime, join me on social media such as Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye! Thank you.